2013 has been flying by. Hey guys, so today I'm doing my July favorites, and honestly, I don't know where the time has gone. So, as you can see back there, if you're wondering what that is, it's the products I'm going to be talking about, so sneak peek at all of them. Kind of. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. The first product I want to talk about is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, and I love this. It's almost out. I've actually been loving just BB creams in general. I have like five of them. I can name them off too. I have a Almay one, a Julep one, a Garnier one, this one, and then I have a Olay one and you can just tell I'm obsessed with them. It's not even funny. Yeah, it kind of is actually, but this is my favorite one out of all of them. It's the Dream Fresh one. And it's in one beauty balm, and this is the one that matches my skin perfectly. And I'm almost out, which is so sad. So I've been trying to save it. I've been trying to like do things like use concealer and powder instead of using this too because I don't want to run out of it. I need to buy a new one. Another favorite is my CeraVe. Is that how you pronounce it? CeraVe? CeraVe? I don't know. Um, it's a facial moisturizing lotion, so it's a moisturizer, and it says for the AM, but I usually use it at night more, because it's, like, thick, and I guess I use it during the day, too. I kind of use it whenever, because I've been using it all month long, instead of my, um, Clean and Clear one, which I do love that one, too. I started using it again, um, but this has been perfect, because my skin's been kind of dry since I, I don't, I didn't tell you guys, but I got, like, severely, like, sunburned throughout this month and I needed something to help that and this was perfect for it so the next thing I've been loving this month is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara the um Regard Feline one so it's like the cat eye one and it is literally a lifesaver if I am too lazy to full on out do my mascara because I have like a step by step thing I do for my mascara I just go to this if I'm too lazy to do it and it's perfect because it like curls your eyelashes and it um, lengthens them and volumizes them all in one so when I'm lazy I'm just like oh yeah let's just put this on and that's been all month of July so perfect you guys should go out and try this because it's amazing the next thing I've been loving and I think you've seen this in a lot of videos so far I think I wear this a lot other than my dark red lips I wear all the time, I love this color by Maybelline the Vivids line, and this is Shocking Coral. It's one of my favorite colors. It's a, just a shocking coral. It's a bright, hot pink, coral, peachy, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a coral color, and it's the perfect one. I love it. It complements like every skin tone, especially if you're tan or if you're pale, as white as I am, then it's just perfect, and... I have to get more of this line from Maybelline because I'm just so impressed with this one that I want to buy like 10 more. The next thing I've been loving is in this little Mark palette that my friend gave me, my friend Ashley, and it is the white color in it. And I've been using, I don't know if it has an individual name because I did not make this palette so I don't know, but um, it's perfect for doing my inner corner and doing a highlight right under my brow because I've been doing... If I do full on eye makeup, I usually do like two kind of highlights. So I do a highlight that complements my eye color or eyeshadow I've been wearing that day. And then I do this bright one right underneath, right here, like the arc of mine. So it catches the light even more. And I just love it. It's in the perfect white color all this month and probably months to come. And I am glad she gave it to me. Thank you, Ashley. The next product I have is also one given to me by Ashley. And it's the... Hard Candy Concealer in tan, I guess. I didn't know it actually had a, like a specific color to it. And this is what it looks like. I need to sharpen it, but it's like down to the nib. And I'm so happy. I don't actually use this for like my pimples to conceal them. I've been using this in my uh, waterline. 
recording and you need to remember what things are called. But I've been using this on my waterline to help brighten my eyes and it's been perfection. I'm probably gonna repurchase this. This is sold at Walmart, right? Hard candy? I'm gonna get like 10 of these because these are gonna be part of my everyday routine. That's all the makeup I've been loving this month. As for tools, I'll get into nails in a minute. Um, for tools, there's one thing, and it's these tweezers, and the case is somewhere in my room, but the case also has a magnifying mirror, which goes along with these tweezers, which is amazing. These tweezers, which makes them so cool, is that they have a light built into it. Let me press it. It's like on the side of it. Ooh, that really did blind ya. But, um... <laughs> It has a light that's perfect for if you're doing your eyebrows, so like, ooh, if you're looking in the mirror, you can spot every single imperfection on your eyebrow to make them perfect. And I recently got my eyebrows done by Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, you've been in this video a lot. Maybe you should just be here. But, um, <laughs> I've been using this a lot, and she did my eyebrows, and she, like, totally redid them. They're not thick anymore, like I've had them for a while. They're nice and thin, if you could tell. And I've been trying to keep them up with this, and it's been perfect. For nails, I've been loving some bronzy colors, if you can tell. Um, so one of the main ones I've been using, I can't find the one I used for my last nail look, but that one was perfect. It's from Sally Hansen. So look there. And then this one is from Julep, and this is my other one. And this is Zelda, and I've just been in love with the copper, like, bronzy colors this month for some reason. I've had multiple nail looks featuring them, and I am in love. As for food favorites, I couldn't actually find the actual drinks because I kind of drank all of them. But for the month of July, here's what I've been drinking. The Kool-Aid Burst. This is the packaging because it's all gone. Um, the Kool-Aid Burst Berry Blue Soft Drinks, and it's my favorite drink in the whole entire world. I drank three of these in like the last week. I have an obsession. They're too good. You can't just have one. It's bad, but they only have like 20 calories per like thing and they're huge. So I love these and the blue ones are my favorite ones and they just make me feel like a little kid again. And it's Lipton Diet Green Tea with Citrus and it's one of my all time favorite drinks. So is that one. Like I, These aren't like something I discovered in July, but these are things I've been drinking all of July. Like, I don't drink these all the time, but they're still, like, my favorites from, like, years and years. So, this one, it comes with 24, so, yeah, this lasted me maybe about two and a half weeks. Down then, they were delicious. And you guys should try this out. I could diet because that's what I started out with. Like, that was the one I had first, so, like, drinking the normal one kind of just tastes weird, but I love it no matter what, so... And then last but not least, we have song favorites. So for song favorites this month, I have a, just a few. It's not a lot like the past few months where I've been like naming albums and just like straight 12 songs. Um, no, I have just a few and one of them is The Sun Is Rising by Brit Nicole. That song is so cute and so inspirational and I just listen to it every time I feel sad. So I love it. And then the next song I like is Ghost by Ghost by you? Ghost of You by Selena Gomez. It's one of her old songs and I have it on my iPod and it came on one day and I was like, this is a really good song. So I've been listening it all month too. And then Analog by Kesha is a really good one too. It's like upbeat and still like kind of, I don't know exactly, but it's like just a fun song. I love it. And then one I discovered because of our playlist at work and it's Dance With you tonight dance with you tonight by ollie Murs, and it is fantastic it's just an upbeat song perfect for summer and i just love it it was so, everything about it the first time i heard it i was just like what is this song <laughs> so i was like yeah it's one of my favorite songs this month and then last but not least i actually like a cover someone did on youtube and it's blurred lines covered by um alex g music seven i think is her full username and she is a fantastic singer and I'll link her channel down below so you can go check out her covers because I've just been obsessed with all of them all month long. But I found Blurred Lines first and I've been loving that. Also, um, if you want to know some of my other favorite, all time favorite songs and favorite songs that I just found out, um, I just put a playlist on my Tumblr and I'll link the link of that is 
it's always down below if you want to check that out. But I've had some songs I recently just rediscovered, and I put those on there, and songs I just discovered too, that it's probably going to be in next month's favorite. So, hint, some of the songs in there are going to be in August favorites, if you want to go check that out. Um, links down below, Tumblr is always down below, all my social medias are down below if you ever want to check those out. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please like this video if you just liked it or found it helpful. Subscribe because I love you and will love you even more if you do. And yeah, bye. Love you guys so much. Forever and always.